back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a super, super chilled out weekly vlog. Just chill out with me, sort my life out with me, get back into being in London with me. I got back last Wednesday, it's now Monday, and I was very jet lagged Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I basically just chilled and did nothing. And then this weekend, it was Rob's belated birthday weekend because I wasn't here for his birthday. So we spent the whole weekend doing loads of really fun stuff. We went and did like a whiskey tasting, went to Michael Bublé. It was an amazing weekend, but the flat is a mess. I've not unpacked any of my stuff. The bedroom, honestly, it's shocking. So yeah, I thought I'd take you along this week as I kind of clean out the flat because I want to do a bit of a clear out before I start my job and just make sure that it's looking as decluttered as possible and also just catching up with friends. You probably won't see Rob much in this vlog because he actually has his agent showcase next week which is basically where all of the agents come and watch them perform and that is obviously key if you're a musical theatre student and you want an agent. So he is deep in rehearsals pretty much 12 hours a day every single day this week. Yeah, so I'm just going to take this week as a chance to kind of sort my life out, see friends, enjoy being back in London, and I thought I would take you along with me. Just before we start this video, I wanted to say that it's very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. If you've watched me for any amount of time, you will know that Rob and I love HelloFresh and we still order boxes every single week that we're at home and we honestly would not be without them now. So I've spoken about HelloFresh on my channel many times before, but if you're new here or you want a brief reminder of what they are, they are a meal subscription service where you get fresh high quality ingredients for a load of amazing recipes delivered directly to your door every week, stress free. Whether you're vegetarian, you're cooking for a family, you wanna try their rapid recipes where you can cook it all in 20 minutes, or you wanna push the boat out and try their ultimate recipes, they have a huge selection of dishes that will definitely have everyone's tastes covered. And this month they're doing limited edition childhood classic recipes, which will be like a nostalgic blast from the past with all of your favorite comfort foods from your childhood. I just think that is such a lovely idea. What I really love about HelloFresh is how flexible it is. We can order three or four meals each week, depending on how often we're in the house. If we've got guests coming over, we can order more servings. And if we're away for a week or we're just super, super busy, then we can skip, no stress, and come back to it the next week. For me, it really just takes the stress out of dinner time because all of the ingredients are pre-portioned so I don't have to worry about weighing and measuring. Everything gets sent to you so I don't have to worry about going to the shop. You pick the recipes so I don't have to worry about meal planning. We can just relax and enjoy the process of following the step-by-step -step recipe card and making the meal together, which is a really important part of our day and of our relationship. So it really is just the best thing for us. Every single time I go and film a clip, the sun decides to go in and out. It doesn't do this for the rest of the day. It's only when I turn my camera on, so I'm sorry if the lighting's a bit funny in this clip. I thought I'd show you the recipes that we picked for this week. So the first recipe we picked this week was the breaded fish and chips. I always love their fish recipes because the fish is so fresh and they always like put a little different spin on it, so it's always new and exciting. This one was delicious, I've already had it. Then we had the ultimate creamy korma with basmati rice. This one was also amazing. I love their curries, so we'll always pick out a curry pretty much every single week. This week we actually went for two curry style dishes and we also went for the creamy korma lentils because I like the look of the sweet potato and the ciabatta and I'd not seen this one before, so I wanted to give this a try. I will honestly recommend HelloFresh to anyone that will listen because it keeps the joy of eating varied meals and cooking every night, but it just takes out all of the stressful elements. So so it's a complete win-win in my opinion. If you would like to try HelloFresh, which I seriously recommend that you do, then you can use the code HelloEve60 for 60% off your first box, 25% off your next two months, and some free gifts in there as well. So that is like a triple win. The link and the code that you need to use will be on the screen now, as well as a QR code that you can scan to take you straight to the discount. And of course, all the information you need to check it out will be in the description as well. You'll see me cooking the HelloFresh dishes throughout the week in this vlog. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. You guys know I love HelloFresh and whether or not I'm sponsored, I am using them every single week. So it's always an honor to work with them. And without further ado, let's get on with the rest of the vlog. So the job for today, I'm doing it one room at a time because I feel like that makes it a lot more manageable. The job today is the bedroom. Um, I'm gonna start with the hardest first because it is a state. <sighs> It's actually never been this messy, um, just because I've just been chucking clothes everywhere. I think just this weekend I wasn't really fussed about cleaning or anything, I just wanted to have a chilled, nice weekend celebrating Rob's birthday, so now I actually have some free time. I've just finished Daisy Jones and the Six. You know what, I didn't love the book, like, I did love the book, but like, I liked the book, but I much preferred Evelyn Hugo 
but honestly i loved the series to the point where i'm considering putting it on again the tension between billy and daisy like i actually couldn't cope with it and the music i actually love the songs i've actually ordered the vinyl because i was really worried that they were going to be like absolutely awful and they're exactly kind of how i imagine them so yeah um anywho i'm gonna be listening to aurora and getting started on this room i don't even know where to start i think i'm gonna do what i do in this situation and it's work from one corner of the room round because i think that's the only way i'm going to be able to do this okay let's give it a go <laughs> i've dusted down this the amount of dust that accumulates in here is really insane like you honestly leave it for a couple of weeks and it does just accumulate so quickly so I've dusted all of this, I've put a load of laundry in, and look how much dust I got from scraping the carpet. Now I know that scraping the carpet regularly is not good for the carpet. These carpets are awful, the landlady has admitted it herself that she's going to replace them when we leave probably, so it's not that much of a big deal. And our hoover is also awful and does not take any dust out of the carpet, as you can see. That is just this section. That is it. Not even the whole room. Insane. <laughs> Next job is to tackle this. I have just emptied the laundry basket out that Rob did. So I'm going to put all of this away. And I need to unpack my rucksack. And I actually just don't want to do it. At some point this week, I am going to do a clear out of my clothes. I don't think today is going to be that day. Because I feel like that's too much to do in one day. So we're just going to put everything away first. And then we'll see where we stand. Very annoyingly, I just filmed a whole time lapse of me doing this area and deleted it when I went to go film this clip, but it is looking much, much better. I have decided to clear out all of this stuff from here as well, and I've just sort of put less stuff up on this shelf here. So it is definitely looking, in general, a lot more put together. Went to start unpacking my rucksack and realised there's no point in me unpacking my rucksack till I've cleared out all my drawers and stuff. So I've put all my rucksack stuff in a pile, and I'm going to leave that till I've done the clear out tomorrow. For now, all I'm going to do is clear off the bed and then I'm going to tackle cleaning the bathroom because that's the other one that really does need doing. And that'll probably be it for today, I think. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow we'll tackle actually cleaning out the bedroom, which is going to be awful. <laughs> oh, God. It's one of those things that you need to do, but it just, when you start it, it gets so much worse before it gets better, so... Yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> Next up is the bathroom. I've only done that bit so far. So I'm gonna do a before and after. Okay, ready for the magic? Three, two, one. And after, whoa. Just put the mats in the bath, in the wash, sorry. But it's looking much, much better now than it was. A lot cleaner, a lot shinier, and it smells nice. <laughs> Okay, I've just put the laundry out to dry and I've put another load in. I'm now going to clean the kitchen, including the washing up. Um, so, yeah, I'll do another before and after. This is quite fun, actually. Much more fun with a time lapse. Et voila! This literally looks exactly the same, actually. So this was kind of a fail. But it is clean. And the washing up's done. And the table's not as much of a mess as it was. And unfortunately, the recycling bin is full. So... The recycling is here. Last thing I'm gonna do today is clean out the fridge. It needs just a deep clean. I feel like a lot of things we've just kind of neglected doing, um, which I feel like we're both like, oh, like this week we're gonna like do the skirting boards or this week we're gonna do the fridge and then we never do. So today I'm gonna tackle the fridge. By the sound of it, Rob has had a pretty bad day at uni. So I'm gonna cook some dinner for when he gets back because he then has two hours tutoring session that he's doing so he only has half an hour to eat his dinner so i'm gonna whip together a hello fresh meal i have missed hello fresh so much i know that obviously this video is very kindly sponsored by hello fresh we have used hello fresh for so so long now and the whole time i was away rob was just messaging me like i so wish i had hello fresh for dinner tonight i so wish you were here so we could get a box for the two of us and all the time i was away i was thinking oh i would love to just come home and have all the ingredients there and just have a different meal to try like every single week so yeah i'm so happy to be cooking a hello fresh meal tonight it feels good to be back fridge is looking much much better ignore the random stain there i can't get that off but 
He's looking good and nice and clean. So I think with that, I'm gonna leave the cleaning for today. Tonight, we are having breaded sea bass and chips. The fish ones are always my favorites. I just love how fresh the fish is. And this one I've had before, or a variation of this, and loved it. So let's get started. everyone it's me again so we had dinner it was honestly delicious i think that's one of my favorite ones that i've had the fish especially was unreal and we watched some of love is blind the new season and rob has just gone off to go and do his tutoring so i'm currently watching the documentary about the disappearance of mh370 i really have missed just sitting and chilling watching netflix and stuff and i think i always used to beat myself up if i just spent loads of time just sat watching netflix but I know that this time next month I'm going to be very very grateful that I took some time to chill so I think I'm just going to sit here and then tonight we're going to watch the final Hunger Games movie because they're on Netflix for a month and any of you who have followed me for like a really long time will know that I used to have a Hunger Games fan page on Facebook that was where this all like started before I had a YouTube Twitter account and then became a YouTuber myself um so i'm like a massive hunger games fan or i used to be when i was younger so i forced rob to watch all of them with me he watched the first one um already but he hadn't watched catching fire which is in my opinion by far the best movie so he really enjoyed that one didn't enjoy mocking jay part one as much but that's fair enough i feel like it's a bit like the deathly hallows part one where not really much happens and to be honest i've kind of forgotten what happened not what happens in mocking jay but what the second film is like so i'm very excited about that as well but i think i'll pick you up in the morning when i'm going to carry on with some organizing some sorting and things like that so yeah see you tomorrow um it is actually now nearly three o'clock the next day really really sorry some personal stuff came up this morning that i had to deal with and i didn't really want to vlog it so I'm starting my day a little bit later, but I've just had a really nice shower and I don't actually have much time now. I had obviously planned to do the whole bedroom today, but that's okay. I think my plan is to tackle the hospitality, the hospitality, the toiletries uh, trolley over there because that really needs clearing out. So I think that's definitely doable in an hour and a half, which is what I've got before I need to get ready because I'm actually going to meet my friend Izzy. We're going to Dishoom and I've never been to Dishoom, which I can't believe. Uh, I've heard very good things, but equally I am just a fan of a bog standard like no frills curry, but I'm very excited to go. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get dressed and put my hair in a towel and get started with the hospitality. Why do I keep calling it a hospitality trolley? A uh, toilet truth trolley. So this is the current state of it. It's not like awful, it's just there's so much stuff in here that it's gone out of date or like I just don't use or haven't opened, which obviously I can then donate to like a women's refuge, somebody that actually use it. So this is the plan. Let's give it a go, shall we? we're done i'm aware that to most of you this will look no better than it did before but i promise you it's so much more organized than it was everything has its rightful place everything is in a container and it just looks so much better to me so the next thing i'm going to do is sort out the under duvet storage because i've just shoved stuff in there and they definitely need sorting so that is the next task. Mind the crazy hair. Um, this is what happens when I don't brush it straight out of the shower. But I have made some more progress. I have put some shoes in here that I don't ever wear. And some of Rob's shoes that he never wears um, to take to the charity shop once I've done the rest of the clear out. And I've also cleared out my underwear drawers, which I obviously didn't film. And so, yeah, I feel like I've definitely made some headway today. Hello, me again, ready to go out. Outfit of the day is this top, which I actually got from Cotton On, well, the Cotton On outlet, so it was only $10, which was amazing. And then my jeans, which are from Zara. I've had them for, like, two years now. And, yeah, I've gone for quite a natural makeup look. I used, like, a tinted serum rather than a foundation, and I actually really, really like it. So I'm really excited to go and have some nice food, catch up with Izzy, 
and get away from the flat for a little bit because I have been in here for the vast majority of the last two days. <laughs> I headed on the bus to Brixton Tube Station and got the Victoria line up to, I want to say Oxford Circus, or maybe I got the Piccadilly line. I cannot remember. Anyway, I ended up in Soho slash Carnaby and met Izzy at Dishoom um, in Carnaby for a lovely meal. We had a lovely catch up and the food, the black dal, if you haven't had it, and the gunpowder potatoes, 12 out of 10 recommend. Then we went to Cahoots, which is a really cool, like, old-style underground station theme bar. And I had a virulin cocktail in a mug of virulin. How crazy. Hello, everyone. I am back. I had such a lovely evening. And weirdly, literally, as I was getting off the tube to go to the bus, I got on the bus and I looked to my right. And on the bus behind me, I was like, is that Rob getting on the bus behind me? And he was literally on the bus behind me following me down the road and then we both got off at the exact same time and I was like, hello, fancy seeing you here. Anyway, I had such a lovely evening and I got back to this delivery. We know what I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday. Today's plans, Lizzie is coming over later for dinner. I'm gonna cook her fajitas, that'll be super, super nice. I need to take down the recycling and I'm gonna get cracking with clearing out my wardrobe. Just woke up to see that Paul O'Grady has really sadly passed away and that has made me really sad. Like that was one of those things where I looked at my phone and my jaw actually dropped. Um, so my thoughts go out to his friends and family and just, ugh, that's just such sad news. But I'm gonna have some breakfast now um, and have a cup of tea and just slowly wake myself up because I had a very deep sleep last night. Obsessed, look at this. So this morning, I actually cleaned out, finally, what I have called the box of shame here since we moved in. So honestly, like eight months ago, there has been a moving box with stuff that I've just not been asked to put away. And I finally did it. And I'm feeling very proud of myself. I forgot to log it because I got so excited about doing it. But it's gone. And now I just have a box of like toiletries and makeup for family and friends there and then I have a couple of boxes which are going to the charity shop on Saturday next plan is to go to Tesco to get some ingredients for fajitas but the living room is looking much much better very clean I also cleaned this out as well I've been listening to Aurora all morning and yeah feeling feeling productive I am off on my way to Tesco got my tote bag in tow cute little Tesco fit um go off to get the heater ingredients and I'm feeling like maybe some sushi for lunch because I'm still not quite over my sushi phase. <laughs> Went to Tesco, got what I needed for the fajitas tonight and I also got a ready, ready meal, a meal deal. I got this sushi, mackerel, salmon and prawn sushi. Looks quite good. I'm not so sure on the mackerel but I'm willing to try new things. Got some Quavers, Rogue Choice, I know, but they didn't really have many options. And then even Rogue River Choice, Tango Apple. I would say rate my meal deal, but this is the most unhinged meal deal I think I've ever bought. So maybe don't rate it. I'm gonna sit and watch The Big Bang Theory, which I've started again, because I never actually finished The Big Bang Theory. So watching it from the beginning this month while I have a bit of free time. And then this afternoon, I think I'm just gonna do some laundry. I'm not gonna clear out the wardrobe because I can't be bothered truth be told so i'm gonna do that tomorrow but yeah i think it's gonna be a chilled afternoon really before lizzie gets here look who's here it's me it's miss barnet and my top chef skills Go to that. You'll and i actually made these from scratch as well everyone um and this is also freshly made oh sorry this is also freshly made wait <laughs> fresh <laughs> morning everyone it is thursday day's plan i actually woke up kind of late i actually slept in normally when rob gets up to leave like i kind of get up but i closed my eyes and i was like bye and then woke up like an hour and a half later so i must have needed it but today's plan one edit my video for this week two clear out my wardrobe and three clean the kitchen because there's a lot of washing up from the features last night nice and easy to do list for today um, nice and chill day. I really hope you're enjoying like 
this chilled vlog. I know that I've not been doing much this week, but I personally actually love these vlogs more than any other vlogs, just where people are sitting and chatting and going about their day. So for breakfast, I have a bowl of granola, yogurt and fruit. You can't actually see the granola or the yogurt because the fruit is on top. And I also have a glass of orange juice. And I'm gonna watch an episode of The Big Bang Theory before I get cracking with the vlog. I'm gonna do the vlog first because I need to get that done most urgently. This is just the first vlog, also mind my screen, I know I need to clean it, it's not good, but this is just the first vlog and there is so much. I've zoomed it right the way out, but this is 20 minutes long already and I've not even finished, but I'm loving it so much. Four hours later and it is done. I'd already spent three hours editing it when I was in Melbourne, when I was at Molly's house, as you will see in the vlog, like that's where I end the vlog. So it took me about seven hours to get this one done. I think just probably because it was the first one, but I'm really happy with it. I know that the water, they're just gonna get better as they go up the East Coast as well. So I'm feeling very successful this morning. It's exporting now and while it's exporting, I'm gonna go and make myself, I think a little bit of pasta for lunch. I feel like that's kind of what I'm in the mood for. I've got some veggies left over to use up, so yeah and then we'll get cracking with the thumbnail description all the metadata and everything and then it's time to tackle the wardrobe there's definitely more sauce in here than there is pasta but it looks good spicy tomato pasta complete all right guys the time has come it's time to clear out my clothes i've got the bed ready to go here first thing i'm going to do is just take everything out of my wardrobe and just dump it in the one corner and we're going to go through it and we're just going to be really strict and get rid of the stuff that I never wear. For reference, this is what we're working with. Yeah. It's a mess. <laughs> this is literally just my wardrobe. Not even my drawers, just my wardrobe. Not even the boxes up there, just my wardrobe. Shocking, shocking behavior, Eve. So this is the pile from the wardrobe that I'm getting rid of. It's pretty sized, but actually I'm kind of happy with that. I am generally getting better at not buying clothes that I don't need, and a lot of these are quite old now, so I am feeling like I'm making progress. So in terms of what I've kept from my dresses, I've just got these three dresses. This is my 18th birthday dress, and this is what I always wear whenever we go to like a Peaky Blinders um, event at the Black Country Museum. Um, and then this dress was from Hobbs. It's like a wedding guest dress. It's just good for christenings weddings etc then i've kept sort of these two like bodycon black dresses a black and cream dress even then i've got a few like maxi summer dresses the ones that i do actually always wear without fail in the summer a few summer midi dresses obviously some of them are still in my rucksack from australia i've got my two favorite like short going out dresses which obviously don't wear that much but whenever i do go for a fancy meal they always come out um, and then just a few more. These are like more like work dresses, like wintry dresses, which I think will be good for work. So that is the dresses section complete. I do wish I'd got sort of neater hangers because I feel like this makes it look messy when it's actually not, just because they're all different hangers, but I couldn't really be bothered to sort them in like order, you know. Next up we have skirts. So I have this one really lovely satin skirt, which I do need to wear more because it is just beautiful. Then I have my denim skirt, my black denim skirt. I'm gonna see how much I wear this in the summer because I feel like maybe it's time for that to go because I don't really wear denim skirts very often, but I always wear this black one. Then I've got four like worky skirts that I can just wear blouses with. I need to buy some more blouses. I've got my electric blue blazer, which I'm hoping at some point I will get to wear again because it just makes me feel so powerful. And then I've got my lovely tailored black blazer from Urban. I thought these were good to keep, obviously, if I'm gonna be working as a journalist, probably will need a blazer at some point. Then I have my four work blouses that I have at the moment have a going out sort of top that I wear sometimes. I've had this for like five, six, seven years now, which is crazy and I still wear it. Then I've got my like, just throw over the top of an outfit casual shirts, which I wear all of those quite regularly in the spring and summer. And finally, I have one, two, three, four, like very thin crop jumpers because obviously we're in the season now where I don't need to have my big chunky jumpers. In my wardrobe, I have this sweater, which I just wear a lot around the flat and this jumper which is my absolute favorite jumper of all time it's my comfort jumper and gets worn way too much to be honest so basically it's looking a lot better 
I think, and these are all things that I do actually wear, what I really need to do is go out and buy a few more like staple pieces that can tie some of these together, if that makes sense. But that is a job for another day. Now we tackle these. All of these jumpers need to be able to fit in one of those top boxes. All of these jumpers I wear on a regular basis in the winter. So I am definitely keeping these for next year. So we've got to try and clear out everything that's in the top there. I also have these trousers that I need to put in the wardrobe too. Um, but again, just waiting till there's a bit more space. I forgot I had some bedding in here. I was wondering why I was feeling so smug that I had so much space. I completely forgot that I've got a lot of Christmas bedding and spare bedding in here. So we're gonna have to really be strict right now and get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, so all I've kept of that is my very garish um, Christmas jumper because I do wear this every Christmas at some point and Rob's Levers hoodie, which obviously would feel like a bit of a bitch getting rid of that. So now we need to get all of these in here. Not to be dramatic guys, but I've actually smashed it with room to spare. This one's obviously gonna look a bit gross because it's kind of gonna bulge out the sides, but I've really just not got the luxury of space in this flat. Um, there is not a lot of storage space. So you have to kind of just do what you can. And I feel like this is definitely better than it was. So I'm happy with that. Next job, tops, which have all got to fit back in that drawer. Much better if you ask me. And I can actually see what tops I have, which is what is the most important thing. Cause then I actually know which ones I'm picking out for what reason. All done and behind the sofa, ready for them to pick up on Saturday. I'm feeling very happy with myself. That is a very solid amount of things to have cleared out and it's going to a charity shop as well. So a win-win situation. So the video is all uploaded and ready to go. It took me a while just because I was having some problems with the export, but I've got there in the end. Wardrobe has been cleared out, kitchen has been washed like not literally wash the washing up in the kitchen has been done rob is on his way home now which is actually really nice he finishes earlier today so we are going to cook at hello fresh curry tonight and have a bottle of wine watch ted lasso i'm really enjoying this week it's honestly been so nice to just spend some time chilling out this week has actually been so needed it's obviously been nice to catch up with people but just sorting everything out in my life has made me feel so much better um so yeah, tonight is going to be a really chilled one um, before another busy day tomorrow. Yay! Oh, I really got the final frames. Look at that. It's a good score, eh? Well, that was slow, wasn't it? Oh my god. Nah. For full transparency. Oh god, what is going on there? Okay, that's kind of cool. I beat Rob at the bowling, but he beat me at literally everything else. So now I'm in a bad mood. I'm feeling quite grumpy. But we're going to make dinner. We're going to make the ultimate creamy korma. Very exciting. This is one of my favourite ones because the buttery naan. Chef's kiss. everybody so unfortunately i was silly and i had a shower and i let my hair dry naturally and now this is the situation that we've got ourselves into but today it should be a really nice day rob's just left for rehearsals it's currently about 10 o'clock had a really chilled morning just had some breakfast i'm gonna blitz the flat now and just clean up everything that needs cleaning um because rob's parents are coming on a sunday not that i need to clean for Rob's parents, but I clean if any guest comes over. Rob always jokes, he's like, the Queen's not coming. I'm like, well, the Queen may as well be coming because I just hate having a messy flat when people come over. So I'm gonna give the flat a quick clean. And then I'm actually heading out to meet my friend Polly from uni. We're going to Barafina on Drury Lane. And then very roguely, I've just booked myself a ticket to see Newsies. I was gonna get a rush ticket, but Rob's friends told me that apparently you can't hear very well in the rush seats. So I've paid a little bit extra, actually not that much extra. I was really shocked at how cheap the tickets were for such good seats um to go and sit in the bronx i think so like right by the stage so i'm very excited about that so it's gonna be a really fun day actually i'm actually going to see bake off the musical tomorrow as well with my friend amy so lots of musicals this weekend but i've missed the theater so much so i'm very happy about that first job though is to sort this out <laughs> the perks of actually clearing out your wardrobe is that you actually find things that you forgot you had i haven't worn this in ages it was from asos ages ago so i'm feeling very cute today i'm hating 
my fringe like this is actually killing me i've tried to sort it out but this is the best i can do it is really looking like two ski slopes um i'm channeling the gwyneth paltrow vibes today but it's fine i'm off to go and get the bus i've decided to get the bus because i have a bit longer to get there um so i'm just gonna you know sometimes it's just better to just sit on the bus and you can just sort of watch the world go by and it only costs what well i was gonna say one pound 65 to one pound 75 now but still is a lot cheaper than the tubes so let's go probably won't talk to the camera for the rest of the day so cue wholesome montage of a fun day walking around london so I got the bus up to Drury Lane, it was actually a really lovely view um, on the journey going over the bridge, over the river and headed to Barrafina. Guys, you absolutely have to go here. It's a bit on the pricier side but it was delicious. It's this really intimate bar style setting where you all just sit on the bar and the chefs are literally cooking up the dishes. Right in front of you we had the tortilla, patatas bravas, padron peppers and pan con tomate because Polly is a vegetarian but I am absolutely going to go back and demolish all of the seafood because it all looked insane. Oh, it was one of the best things I've eaten in London. I know we got such basic things but they were just so well done that it was amazing. Then we headed to my favourite little hidden spot in Central. It's called The Garden at Theatre Royal Drury Lane and it's a really cute little coffee shop. The coffee is actually not that expensive for Central London and we sat and chatted for hours before I had to get the tube up to Wembley Park because I was going to see Newsies. I managed to get such good seats as I said earlier so I was feeling very very happy about that but I went and grabbed a quick drink at the McDonald's next door before I headed in and wow it was absolutely amazing. The sound was not great at times but the dancing more than enough made up for it as well as the acting and just the general performances. <laughs> everyone so it is saturday now it's actually saturday afternoon this morning i've just been editing the next australia vlog so i haven't really vlogged that that much but i think i am probably gonna end this vlog here tonight i'm going to see my friend amy initially me and rob were supposed to be going to see the great british bake-off musical tonight but rob didn't realize that when we booked it that he would have his final day of rehearsals so he's been in for 12 hours again today it's his last day of rehearsals before the actual thing so i'm taking my friend amy instead but i am going to end this vlog here because i'm currently just waiting for next week's food shop to arrive and then i'm probably going to spend the rest of the day editing so i really hope you've enjoyed this chilled chatty vlog i've really enjoyed filming it let me know if you'd like a couple more of these before i start my new job and yeah look forward to more australia vlogs i'll see you very soon bye guys